What's going on guys? So today is a very exciting day and kind of nerve wracking because I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but we're gonna try and get the Skyline running, at least powered up, see if it runs, and cross our fingers, hopefully everything's good. Master Tech Nils here. It's gonna help uh, do the 1J harness on this for the R34. Yeah, so the uh, black with the white tracer is your power for all the coil packs. So we gotta find that over here. It's probably one of these, we'll just foam it out. And uh, then we'll do the injector or the uh, coil. Do the coils? Yep. Here we go. The ultimate sleeper right here. Mercedes Benz. Oh, this is actually sick. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. You guys wouldn't believe what's under here. 1JZ. Hell yeah. I put a plug right there so that way it's easy to just undo it when you gotta take the harness out. So. Right, right. Hey, yeah, quick run to the. Uh, Park store, get some uh, connectors and stuff like that. Look at that. And I was having a uh, issue that I wouldn't be able to see. <laughs> These all go to the coil packs and the injectors, and they all need 12 volts. All right, literally just connecting them all together. We got Dr. Dre Fire over here. What's going on, Dre? What are you doing to your car? Notorious exhaust leaks. <laughs> Where is it coming from? What are you doing? You just top the flex pipe out. Oh damn! They said go to the low life. This is what you get, guys. <laughs> and I'm gonna keep it real with you. All right, I'm being fat here. I ordered some chilies. We all ate some chilies, but Nils is doing a pretty good job uh, wiring up everything. Getting something. Drive shaft, huh? Yep. That's all I'm in. Respect over there. Oh, <laughs> get hyped! All right, we're getting hyped out here. Nils is doing some more wiring and relay. Uh, three stooges, three stooges here are gonna figure out. Uh, yeah, whatever you just said, Nils. Would you say oh, something? <laughs> something that's gonna get uh, switched when you turn over uh, the key. So let's do that. Cause Kendrick is busy right now. Daigle is drunk right now, so he can't think. So. <laughs> So more and more wiring over here. Nils is just doing like all the little relays. Yeah, all the fun stuff. Trying to figure out also why one problem at a time. If anyone knows where the fuel pump signal wire is, let me know. Drop it down in the comments. There you have it. Everything's running so far. There's still a lot to do before I can actually get it driving. Um, definitely need a math. Definitely need to make the block off plate uh, for the idle because it's idling like around like 5,000, uh, Nils was saying. So we got to do that. Also, I noticed that when I had the car turned on like accessory mode, uh, all the lights were staying on and I think I found the problem. I think it's because I plugged this wire into the wrong plug connector. So we're gonna just disconnect this here and that should solve that problem. I think that's actually for the headlights or something with the headlights because I see the same plug on this side here, right here. Next also that we need is, I need a shifter. So I'm gonna do that cube shifter where it comes out like in a Z form. It'll, cause literally this is where the shifter plate is. I'll take this out real quick. So I can show you guys see how far forward it is It's literally all the way up here. So this is gonna have to come up Z formation like that 
Yeah, that's way too close. See how close it is? Gotta do that. And I also need to do three wire, uh, three more wires connectors. If you guys know where I could tap into, not the starter relay, but I need to tap into something where actually, actually, I can actually get like 12 volts to actually start the car. Need to do that. Need to uh, tap for my fuel pump for accessory. I already have that. I'm gonna tap it into the fuse box there. And only other thing is, yeah, that, those two things. Oh, and maybe a kill switch. I think I'm gonna do a kill switch too, just in case. I'm just so hyped that it runs, man. I'm hyped that it runs and even though nothing's in it, there's a little bit of oil in it. Oh, I also need to do an external uh, oil cooler kit. It's about like 120 bucks, I think. But um, yeah, that's not too bad. I'm just so happy that I was able to keep like everything somewhat uh, OEM. And also another big reason, I don't know if I said it earlier, but I did have the fuel lines backwards on this side. So just switched them over here and started right up. What I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna do my fuel pump setup now. Wiring uh, the fuel pump on the switch. Uh, I'm gonna run it into my fuse box. First, before I do that, just gonna connect this just to see if all these lights turn on. What up? And bam, yep. There we go. That's how it should be. Oh, I'm hearing something. I don't know what that is. What is that? I'm just hearing like some buzzing. Oh, let's see what that was. The front windshield vent was like turning on for some reason. Let's see if this airbag is definitely on. All right. Seatbelt. All right, that's not too bad. Just gonna disconnect that uh, airbag light there. So this is one of the fuses that I'm tapping into. Well, one of the relays I'm tapping into. That way, this actually, one of the power actually turns on when I have the key in the ignition. I'll show you guys how to do that. Literally just splicing into one of the wires there. Uh, actually found out how to connect the alternator there. Literally just looping this into the positive terminal here. This positive terminal uh, off the alternator is going straight and in, into the post. Shout out to my buddy Tyler, he got a 1J Cressida. He actually gave me one of his shifters, but I'm gonna show you guys how close it is and reason why I can't use it. It almost works, but it's kind of in the way. I'll show you guys real quick. So, put the shifter in. Uh, let me just put the shift knob real quick. Twist that bad boy on. Actually, take that back off. I'm gonna put this in. That way you guys get a better understanding of why I can't use it. All right, so put that on, twist that a little bit. So this, that's actually first gear right there. I think maybe I might actually be able to use this. That's first gear there. This is second gear there. Oh uh, no, actually no, I can't use it. It's already hitting, it's hitting this whole plastic. Fourth gear is fine. Yeah, fifth gear it's already hitting. And then that's reverse right there. Reverse is literally hitting, grinding against the e-brake right here. So yeah, can't use this. With a Cube Smart one, literally it's gonna be pushed back, I'd say maybe like around here. So damn, hmm. I might actually have to trim this or something, unless it's just moving like, I don't even know. I gotta double check. Cause it's gonna come up, it's gonna come back like here, about like an inch or two, I guess. That's out. So that's first gear there, second gear, third, fourth, fifth. See, it's like right there. First, I gotta bleed this clutch. Well, there's like no clutch. That thing is like on the floor already. Have the car up on the lift just to make working underneath a little bit easier. But, so what I'm gonna be doing is uh, running it across all the way, the fuel lines literally all the way across, and then Literally could just run it up and fit it into the sleeve there. That way we have it uh, all covered up and nice and neat. Got everything all wired up and just have it running literally all the way straight through. Covered all of that. So that's pretty much gonna be it. It's late as hell right now and I'm feeling tired, but excited that the 1J is actually running in the skyline. Like always guys, like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't, pick up a sticker. 
be sure to do that. Also, get yourself a hoodie because it's getting cold out here. There, shout out to Strange Planet for printing these out. And next video will probably be uh, messing around with the cam angle sensor on the Kuki. Stay tuned, guys. Oh, <laughs>